very few Christians read or even think about the titles or dedications of the Psalms given, you know, in the first verse. Usually we just read right by them. But Psalm 46's dedication is striking. It's indicated as a song of the Alamoth, or virgins. Yes, like the ten virgins of the parable. It is a psalm for those ten virgins, those who are going to be present in the last days. Now, traditionally, scholars have thought this is a musical dedication of some kind, that it's going to be sung by young women with high voices, not some kind of prophetic indication. I have to ask those scholars, did you read the psalm <laughs> and see what it's about? Because it's full of allusions to the apocalypse. In verse 2, the earth is moved, as in Revelation 6, 12 through 14. And the mountains fall into the sea, as in Revelation 8, 8. In verse 3, the waters roar and foam, just like in Luke 21, 25. In verse 6, the nations rage and the kingdoms fall, just as in Revelation 11:18. And finally, in verses 8 and 9, we're invited to, quote, Come behold the works of a Lord who has made desolations in the earth. You know, God only does that on the day of the Lord. He makes wars cease to the ends of the earth. He breaks the bow and cuts the spear in two. He burns the chariot in the fire. All of those in Psalm 46, 8, 9. The earth's cities and armies will eventually be laid low by Jesus. These don't seem like the type of events to be sung by sweet, innocent voices, do they? They are only events that take place on the day of the Lord. So, the virgins that this is dedicated to are the ten virgins. And it's an encouragement psalm, one to encourage those present in the last days. Through all of his destruction, the psalm shows us God is ever-present and our refuge and shelter. It instructs us to be still in the midst of the chaos and know that he's in control and is the ultimate victor of the last days. God is our refuge and strength, the very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. Psalm 46, 1 through 2 and 10. So Psalm 46 is a great psalm to memorize, something I did when I was on mission in Guatemala. It will encourage you as the outer bands of a spiritual hurricane that is the end times begin hitting our world with more intensity. And although this psalm is a help at all times, it was given to us by God primarily for these times of distress that are coming upon us all. Psalm 46 isn't the only end time psalm. Many of them are prophetic of God's final victory. Probably the most striking is Psalm 18, which is the psalm describing the events of the day of the Lord in incredible detail. Click right here to learn more about it and exactly what type of creature it is that Jesus rides to the earth. Hint, it's not a white horse. Till then, this is Nelson, and I'll see you there.